Hello, everyone, and welcome. It's Shanna. I'm continuing with my KCC 14 Love from Lizzie sets. And so I'm on sketch four here, and I'm just going to be um, assembling this card along with a couple others. Now I'm going to bring in another one of my Spellbinders embossing folders and emboss this panel. Um, and I think it looks just beautiful. Um, you just can't be an embossing folder for um, just that extra detail that makes your card look um, so much more elegant, I think. So you're going to see me fighting with this glue press again and my other little glue bottle. Um, that seems to be the theme this week. Anyway, so I'm going to get this embossed panel that I've used Spellbinders uh, blue paper, and I can't think of the name at the moment, but... I'm going to get it laid down on there, and then I'm going to fuss with these pieces. This is kind of an unusual one, and I was actually, when I went to open my bag, I was actually missing a triangle piece, and I think it was probably this top piece that I was missing, and I couldn't find it. And so I just went ahead and laid this one, and it was, I think, a little too small, and so I have a more narrow strip going on there. Um, than what you would if you had all of your pieces and the correct pieces. But I was just in the mood to just run with it, and so that's what I did. And so I'm going to kind of play around with this pattern paper and try to figure out what the best um, way to position it is based upon the options that I have. It is two-sided, um, so I do have the ability to play around with it. And the only thing I didn't like is I wanted to feature more of the floral elements but I didn't want um, to put them side by side, and I don't know, they just didn't, they just, it just didn't gel right. So I wound up using mostly the pink and then this one larger piece that had the floral element on it um, as the um, focal point, I guess. And then I'm gonna bring in this other strip that I just had laying that I thought I could fill in this corner with. And then this strip here was actually part of the cutting, and it's got the floral, but it has the other floral pattern, not the, the pattern that I have um, used on the card base here. So I'm just going to trim these off, and then we'll um, get to working with the rest of the card. So um, I would have liked to have more color, and that's why I grabbed that little remainder piece and thought, could I piece that in there somehow? And now I'm working with that strip that I cut, and I'm it's, it's the other pattern, and so that's why I'm not sure I'm liking it on here. So then I just tried to bring in the kit from Love From Lizzie. You had these beautiful white border strips that were real detailed that were like stickers. And I've decided I'm going to use that instead of the strip piece. Now, with Kinder's Card Challenge, you know, they're just a, a sketch to give you a starting point, a place to work, and you can certainly make it your own. So I'm very much making this particular card my own by changing the paper and the um, adding the strips. Now here, this basket of flowers, which is gorgeous, actually came in the Love From Lizzie kit as well. And I just die cut it out in white. I used the white paper that was included in the Love From Lizzie kit and just die cut this out. And I'm just gonna get some glue, try to be real clean about it and get it laid down on uh, my panel here. And this sketch here is the perfect sketch for this large die cut because you've got a lot of open space there. Now I did take and die cut out some blue flowers like my background paper, but then I'm deciding I've got a lot of blue showing there, so I'm gonna bring in some pink. Um, and these flowers will layer on top of your basket to add some color. And so I'm gonna get them and get them laid down on there. I actually ripped my largest pink flower. So I'll die cut out another one and bring it back in. And um, I'm just gonna glue some of these flowers down on these flat spots on the die cut. So I've got pink there that I'm adding and I'm just getting it pressed down. And I'm gonna add some of my smaller pink ones in the different spots because I, I just think that helps kind of bring the pink in over to the blue area and kind of tie everything together. And so I'm just using up what I've got and getting them laid down on there. And then I've decided I've got these blue pieces cut out, so let's not waste them. Let's go ahead and add them into the basket as well. 
And so I'm just choosing where I'm going to add my blue flowers and add that. And then I've still got two left that I have die cut out. And I thought, I've got a lot of pink right there together that I'm not extremely fond of. And I got a little bit of messy glue on there. So I'm going to add these blue flowers up there and just kind of bring the blue into the pink area. Now I've got some sequins here that were included in the kit, and I'm just going to adorn my flowers with these um, kind of rhinestone sequins is what they remind me of. So I'm just going to get the centers of my bigger flowers. And that'll pretty much finish up our card. I'm not going to put a cinnamon on here because I think you could send this card for just about anything. And I think it's really pretty. I've got a little piece hanging off the edge. I just trimmed it off and that'll finish it up. So we'll move. I've got a little bit of glue on there too. Still trying to clean that up. So I like it. I think it's nice. So we'll just move on to our second card which is sketch five. And this one has a little different tone of color because I think I've flipped um, one of the pattern papers. Oh, actually, no, that yellow um, triangle pattern paper that is there is um, part of the option where you bring in whatever you want. So I'm bringing in a, you know, this teal cardstock here and I'm getting it laid down on my card base and you can see it's off so I'm going to trim that up and then I brought in this yellow piece here and this was one that you had the option of just bringing something in it had some cut aparts on the back but I'm going to bring it in and let it down because I thought it looked nice with this yellow strip here that I used um, LV's uh, Easy Wonder Die 1 to cut out um, I thought it looked good with that but I decided um, once I flipped it over to put glue on, I liked the way that looked. And I thought that kind of tied it in to the rest of the set, having those floral elements on there. So I decided to flip it over and use it that way. Now the stitch pattern will be, you know, upside down, so to speak, but I don't, it doesn't bother me. So I'm going to do that. And this, because this is going to be like a set of cards that I'm going to package in a box, I thought it would be nice to kind of make them look cohesive. So in using this floral pattern, I thought that it kind of um, tied it in with the other. Now I've got some rubber on there from the top of the paper pad I'm picking off. And I thought I was going to use this tag. And then I decided there's another doily in this kit. And I think I could use it on here if I cut it in half. So I'm still debating on what I'm going to do. But I ultimately decide that I'm going to use this doily and I'm going to cut it in half. I'm really trying to use a lot of the elements from the kit and just bust through it. Um, I thought I was going to lay it one way and then I decided since I cut it in half, it'd be better to lay that against the edge of the paper. And I think that looks nice. And then I've got another half of a doily that I can use on something else. So I'm just lightly gluing this because this doily is pretty thin. And I'm going to get it laid down on my card panel. And it will just create an area for a focal point. And I think that really looks pretty. I like that together. I was just having fun, just getting crazy. And then I had this piece of paper that I've got half of a uh, one of those cut aparts. It's a circle. And I thought that would be perfect to butt up against the edge of that where that doily is. So I just took my circle die, die cut that out, and I'm gonna just butt it up to the edge. So I feel like I'm making the most out of the, this paper. The kit also include the ribbon. So I'm gonna use this purple ribbon and I'm gonna lay it behind my um, circle cut apart there. I'm just gonna bring in my tape runner and just create a little sticky area that'll hold down this ribbon and then I can glue my circle die cut on top of it. And that'll just add some additional interest to it. And we'll just get this glued down. Now I had that purple paper on the back and I thought that was pretty as well. But we're gonna keep with a the floral theme and just get this laid down on here. And I'm just trimming up my ribbon. I thought it looked a little long there and I think it looks really pretty. Now I'm debating, do I wanna bring a cinnamon in? And I'm trying to decide what I wanna do. And I think I go with this 
Thanks so much. I can always use a thank you card, and I think most people can too, so I think it'll go nicely in this set. So that finishes off that, and I think it's beautiful as well. Now we're going to do our third card, and this is uh, sketch six, and it's the one where you line all those strips of paper up right up next to each other. So I'm going to get this um, till, I don't know, till or aqua colored paper laid down and you can see I'm bringing in my little bottle because I can't get my glue press to work and I'll get this laid down on the card base and we'll trim up the edge of it as well either I'm terribly I'm terrible at making card bases or I'm cutting my A2 panels too short um, I use my guillotine for that and I line it up perfectly but for some reason I'm always having to trim those card bases but um it doesn't matter. The finished product looks good, so that's all that matters. Now, I'm, I've kind of positioned them how I want to lay them down. Now, I like to bring in another piece of paper and glue them down. And that way, I don't have to worry about, you know, getting a perfect margin at the top or the bottom on that till panel. I can just line these things up, cut away whatever's left, and then organize that panel on the card as a whole. And it just, to me, seems like a simpler way to do it. So you've probably seen me do it before in my videos, but it is how I like to do it. This is going to be my May Flowers set that I'm going to enter into the Kinder's Card Challenge Facebook album where you enter your makes into it. So this will be my May Flowers, and I'll get it entered in there. I'm just going to get this last strip glued down, and then I'll take and trim it that bottom edge off and then I'll have a panel that I can just easily manipulate on my card base and it'll just make it easier for me. So that's how I'm going to do it. And I could have trimmed the side a little bit to make the side edge match a little better but I I'm, I didn't. Now I, Love for Lizzie is known for these strips. Um, so I've got several of those. I ordered several that in different colors and I'm just going to bring in a, the lavender and lay it down on that white strip just to add some extra interest to it and I got that first one that I laid down crooked but I'm going to lay it on actually the bottom where my circle will go and you won't even notice it so I'm okay with that I'm just looking at it trying to decide and then I decide yep I need to get that so I can cover it up because it goes a little high on that one side and then my circle covered up. It's got a little bunny out of the circle of it, but I don't want to use that. I'm going to use this white, and I'm going to bring in one of the floral elements that I've just die cut out in a circle, and then another circle with the polka dot on it, and we'll just layer those three up, and I think that'll make some nice interest to this card. Just get this laid down. I'm not really sure why I chose that base panel, that till, there's a little bit in that flower in the bottom center, um, so I think maybe that's it, but it'll be okay. I'm going to lay my flower down on my polka dot, and then I'll layer it on this bigger circle. And then that'll make a nice focal point for this card. And I think I decide to leave the sentiment off of this one as well, um, just to make a note card so that um, you could use it for anything that you need a card for. I had somebody um, mention to me that they're needing just some note cards that um, don't necessarily have any sentiments on them. So I'm going to pull some of those together so that those will be available. I'm, I'm toying with, you did it. This is just a sentiment. I've got a little stash of a whole bunch of little banner sentiments that I have available, but I'm not going to use them. So here's my three cards. I've got my basket. I've got my um, half circle, and I've got my strip card. And I think they turn out pretty nice. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.